Hi guys, welcome back to Banana Milk. Today, I'll be giving you guys a long overdue walkthrough of the Saku Miraku Academic Planner for 2022-2023. I'm probably late because I'm pretty sure a lot of people have gone back to school, but it does not matter. I'll be doing the walkthrough. I've been putting it off because I did not have a tripod to say um, video my iPad but I decided to use a different method. So that will be the disclaimer for the video. Today, I'll be using the desktop to give the walkthrough. I'll be using um, Adobe Acrobat to fill in the certain like spots so you guys can see how to use the planner. Um, I think that's all the disclaimer I have for today. Um, using Adobe Acrobat is another way you can use this planner. You can use it on a laptop or a desktop using that app instead of having an iPad or like a tablet with a stylus. So first, I'm going to show you guys the four colors that we have. So this one is the pale rose, which is like a nice like red color. It's a light red pinkish color. And then you have sage which is a sage green color very beautiful honestly i really love this color um then you have sky which is a pale blue color yeah um then you have the classic which is our brand colors the black and the white which they're not really such black and white they're like a pale black and then the white is an off-white so yeah those are all the colors so i'm gonna use the rose the pale rose as the journal that we walk through today so let's get into the video shall we okay so this is a cover obviously what you can do let me press on fill and sign what you can do is go here it's like um, your name um, let me use banana milk for all the parts that has name I'm going to use banana milk as the name instead of my actual name so use banana milk and then right here you can I should probably move that over but I think you get a point you can put your um, university or college or high school it says to university right and etc you can you can fill it in if you wish so now let's scroll down the first page of planner is the let's say a welcome page it's basically asking you to write your name because it's asking who the planner belongs to gonna put an animal because that is who the planner belongs to and then let's go so this page is the index page on this page the first important thing of this page is this link right here it is so the logo is a link and it links you to our patreon which has a help desk now the patient help desk you have to sign up as in not sign up in a way where you become a patron but just sign up to patron itself so that you have an account to can leave comments under the post um so yeah that's where you get the help desk but moving on from that you have literally everything that is in the planner you have the monthly budget and finance the monthly spreads, future log, a miscellaneous section which has a year overview and a password log, you have the monthly review, and you have the academic section which has for each semester a goals and vision board, an assignments log, an assignment planner, schedule, reading log, and then you have a course info page and a course overview page. Now as I said, I've all of this is in each semester and I did three semesters 
just in case you guys have three semesters if you don't have three semesters you can just ignore that third part or you can sit down and delete them if you so wish but i would not recommend that i just say just ignore the third part um so each of these links to the respective pages as well as these over here link to the respective pages and this button right here links back to this index page and the banana milk logo at the bottom links to this page right here okay so let's go to the next page which is the year overview so for academic year 2022-2023 this is the year overview i did from august to july because i'm pretty sure a lot of people start in august so i did that um you can use this part to just highlight whatever you think you want to highlight or you could just whenever you need to like look on a calendar for your academic year you can look at a calendar you can literally like probably highlight each month that would be in a respective semester and so on so yeah you can do that if you so wish but this is the year overview page and then you have the future log so on the future log you could say um can i highlight i don't know if i can highlight but let's say highlight the first right what you could do is come over here and you could put one and then you could go let's say orientation orientation maybe. so you could put orientation day and that's how you use it you just put the date and then what that day is if you so desire and yeah so that is the future log it's pretty simple i have it for every month from august to july and i think i give you guys enough space to write in whatever you need to write in for that month then you have the goals and vision board page all you have to do if you want you can split it up by putting lines and putting academic personal etc and then you could just write in your goals so say you want to study hard you want to get 90 percent 90 percent and over for the semester etc so i have a goals and vision boards thing for each semester so you would see that scrolling like if you scroll down through the planner instead of using the hyperlinks you see each semester's thing back to back because that's how i did it i didn't split it up into different semester um stuff so that is what you'd see then you have the schedule um so on the schedule you literally will go in you can highlight here and you put in let's say you have um you have a chem lab from seven to eight you just highlight all of this section put chem lab etc i think you guys know how to fill in a calendar a schedule because everyone has been using schedules since high school let's move on so as i said you see the three schedules um, this is a course info page so what you do is put the course here so let's do chem 19 10. so you put the course name in this box up here then you can put the days so you put like tuesday wednesday and you put the place um chem lecture room one Then you can put the time of each day so you can put 10 to 12 11 to 3 etc you put the professor the email the office hours the course coordinator and the course coordinated email and you can come back to this if you need it at any point during the academic year i gave enough but if you guys need more you can always duplicate as you guys know duplicating in good notes is easy i don't know how to duplicate in adobe but i'm pretty sure it's supposed to be easy as well so this is the course overview page 
So what you do, you come here and you put course, oh, not course, you put chem 1910. So you put the course here, right? And then you can put the start date, which would be, let's say, the 3rd of September to December 4th. And it, oh, oh my goodness, I literally contradicted my own planner. Okay, so 3rd of September to the 4th of December. And then you come right here, you want to put your goal grade. So let's say your goal grade for this course is at 97. And then whenever you get your grade, you could put like, say actual grade was at 80%. And you put 80 right there. Um, for assignment weight, let's say you have course tests or quizzes that is 60% 60% of final grade, etc. Those are the type of things that you put here, you put in. So if your course is 20% of the course test is 20% of your final grade, quizzes is 30 percent um the exam itself is like 50 percent etc those type of things you put in the course weight for exam slash test if you have a test one and the date would be let's say um september 24th you do it like that that's what you do in this section here i did not put lines like this area because i wanted to i wanted to give you guys enough space to write i do not know how much like tests and exams you guys would have in your individual courses because i know that different universities are different and different um different majors are different if that makes any sense in the overview section, what you would do, you would come here and you would write in, let's say your first lecture in chemistry would be learning about atomic structure in hydrogen. That's what you would put right there and you would put that you'd be learning that in week one. So that when you, let's say you're studying again for this, um, course at the end of the year you can come back here you can look at what you have learned if you want which i did not do you could put a tick beside of it or highlight it when you have learned the topic like finished learning the topic etc so for course resources you can put let's say you have a textbook i don't know what the textbook will call but let's say you have a textbook or <coughs> an academic writing or etc etc that's what you put in this part right here um let's move on this is the semester assignments page what you would do is come right here and you would put let's say you have a paper due um a paper on let's say european history a European history paper. You put the course, let's say the course is history 12, 16. You put that there. Right here, you put a ticky or X or whatever if you have finished it or not. Right here, you put the due date, so it would be due, let's say, September. 24th and then you put what grade you get say when you're finished with it and you get back your grade if you get a 90% you put 90% right there for this page you can duplicate it as many times as you like I only gave one per semester so yeah duplicate it as many times as you like for the reading log what you do is go in you would write your specific reading for that like for the time of the semester um, I don't do readings in my um, 
major because I am a chemistry major. I I don't know what you guys could possibly be reading, but let's say you have to read Macbeth um, pages 12 to 17, and then you'd put the course, the due date, etc. Similar to the assignment planner, except assignment log, except this is a reading log. Um, let's move on. You can also duplicate this as many times as you want. So this is the passwords log. You would put in the website. Let's say the website is Google. Ooh. Google, you put your username here. Um, your email here and your password here. I gave, I think, around one, two, three. 12 of them you can duplicate this page if you want as well as you can literally just put a white box over this page if you don't want anybody to see your information and then move it delete it whenever you want to see put it back etc etc um but yeah i think this page will come in handy for anyone who forgets their passwords a lot and stuff like that so yeah moving on this is the assignment planner so how you would use this is for the description let's use the the history paper so you have a european history paper right due date let's put september 24th the course is history i don't remember what i put there but okay history 1216 you for status i guess we can put that it's not started details in details you would put how much pages so you, if you need it was 200 pages i mean wow 200 pages it was 200 words um the resources that you would use is let's say um the let's say a certain textbook so european history textbook stuff like that that's what you would put in the description and you just fill out all the information that your teacher gives you or your lecturer gives you on the assignment so yeah that's the assignment planner let's move on so we're going to go into the monthly spread each monthly spread has a divider each divider is linked by this so if i would click this oh, i don't know how hyperlinks work in um, adobe but if you click this it will take you to this page for february so it doesn't take you to the month it takes you to this page um after this page you can scroll down and you will see the monthly spread so this monthly spread is pretty simple you have the monthly calendar i don't know why this looks like this i'm not sure why um you have important this month and what you could do is come right here and write down all your assignments or if you have a track meet or a dentist visits or something any important thing for the month right here just put notes you could put a little quote you can put anything you like in this area right here right here everyone knows how um a monthly calendar works when it comes to your work you just put in all the necessary information etc etc um each monday like if you click to the side on the monday this side here it will take you to the weekly spread now i'm going to include a little clip of a screen recording of my ipad doing all the hyperlinks so you guys can see how they work but yeah each monday will take you to the weekly spread so let's move on so this is the monthly budget and finance i have never done a budget and finance before so i have no clue what it's like but what i did is do the date that you guys either earned or lost money you put your details you put your type as in let's say it's for school or for personal for health etc 
and then you put the amount now for the amount in order to know if it's something that you brought in or if it's something that you spent you would put plus for brought in and minus for spent that way when you are doing your total for the month you can do a total um spent and a total um gained and then you can subtract to see what you if you like spent too much for the month or if you gained a lot for the month etc let's move on so we have the weekly spread each weekly spread starts with monday i know it contradicts itself with the calendars because the calendars start on sunday but i did it that way because every school week starts with a monday so that's what i did okay so basically what happens is that you have the mini calendar to the side here you have next week which what you would do is just write any important thing that would be happening next week um, you have the you have space to write in what you, what's happening on that day for the week etc each of these are hyperlinked to the daily pages let's go down so this is a daily page or a daily spread um, what you would do is put the date so let's say this is August 1st so August 1st you can put a quote if you would like you can put in your schedule for that day, you can put in your to-do list and transfer your to-do list into the day, the daily schedule. I gave a 24-hour schedule. Um, this is a little journal for the day so you can write how you felt at the end of the day if you want. And right here, you can put anything at all. We should be putting up stickers for the planners soon. I gave my sister that task and she is currently working so that's why it's not up as it but you can put in the stickers for like any stickers at all in this area right here or use it any way you like it's there there's freedom anything at all so that is the daily spread um i think there's one last thing i'd like to show you well two last things i'd like to show you guys so let me quickly scroll okay so at the end of the month the last week in the month you will see this and the difference is you will see next month and stuff next week so you will write all the important things for next month because it is next week would be a next month so there is no point in saying next week um for these parts, you'll see some gray boxes. Don't write your weekly stuff right there because it will be available in the next month's thing. So this is a monthly review. You have personal, I mean, personally, how was your month? So you would write in how your month went. You would write in what you're grateful for. Then for academic reflection, you would say your challenges for the month and the lessons. You would say your highlight and your accomplishments for that month. You can say what you did. I mean, what you need to improve. Um, and what you should focus on for the next month. Things you should start doing, stop doing, keep doing. And then a rate. You'd be rating the month. I think the monthly re review is a good reflection of how you feel or how you're doing academically and personally throughout the academic year so that's why i gave it i think my favorite part about the monthly review would have to be your highlights and what you need to improve because i think if let's say you, one of your challenges for the month was that you didn't study a lot right and one of your highlights is that you did really well in a lab and it's something that you need to improve on is your studying and then next month i would focus on let's say giving a, a goal to the studying let's say um going to the library every day and studying for three hours stuff like that stuff like that you can do for the month something you can stop doing is focusing on your phone start doing is studying more or keep focused and keep doing is let's say 
working really hard on those nuts you get the point so yeah that's that's the monthly review so every month is like this every month is the same the last thing i'd like to show you guys is the end of the journal so this is the back cover obviously but we're not talking about the back cover right now we are talking about when the academic year is over on the last day of july i gave you guys a how was your academic year now it's not a full sheet to say write out a whole epistle but i gave you guys enough lines so you guys can just give a brief description of how your academic year went if you enjoyed it etc etc you could put a collage of pictures if you want you can literally do anything you want so yeah this is the academic planner i think the next section of this video will be um me showing you guys the hyperlinks that is in the planner if you guys are skilled in adobe and you want to use the planner in adobe knock yourselves out it is there on the website for free always and will be for free so yeah